Hello, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I look like a space astronaut slash evil villain of the future. That's really just everything I've ever wanted to be. So. <laughs> Today, we're watching people dye the under layer of their hair. This has become a very trendy thing to do now and I'm super into it. I love color blocking. I like really contrasting colors next to each other. Just something super bold and fun like that makes me so excited for hair and hair color. I just really love when people have fun with their hair and try out things that you know you're gonna regret when you're older. When you look back at those pictures and you're like, what the f that's when you know you've lived, when you have a regretful fashion and style moment. And I have a lot of those for sure. But you know what? I'm living my extra life and I am gonna continue to do it till the day I die. I am definitely living my extra life today and I can't wait to see these people do the same. Let's watch some videos, shall we? Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by Miss Naya. Catherine, come on in. This is called Dying the Underlayer Blonde at Home. R.I.P. hair. R.I.P. that. Hey. I'm gonna dye my hair like this. I love this idea. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit hard to get that hair blonde because it looks like she has box dye on it. But also, I think this is going to look really, really nice on her. And I think that she can pull it off. <sighs> I'm so excited. So I got 3A for the top half of my hair. Ooh. And then I got this. I didn't get T18 because I don't think my hair will ever be that light. But I got T10, which is for pale blonde hair. 3A, I think for this, is a perfect idea. Ash is blue. Blue cancels out orange. She has a lot of orange in her existing hair color. That is the perfect color for her. So bravo. And I'm glad she didn't pick T18. She's like, my hair is not going to get that light. Girl knows that you can't light and hair with toner and I'm so happy. She's doing so good. Okay, beautiful sectioning. I see a lot of stuff going on with this existing color though. So I'm a little bit worried about how this color is going to actually lift out of her hair. I feel like it's gonna be very messy. And by messy, I mean she's gonna have banding all around her hair. There's gonna be orange, there's gonna be red, there's gonna be yellows. There's gonna be really just a lot going on that has to be fixed. I definitely got some on that bottom part. Make sure I mush it in. We're sanctioning, dude. I'm so happy. She's not taking the entire bunch of her hair and just putting color on it. She's actually taking sections. No, stop. Please, no cameras. No cameras. <laughs> this is supposed to be the easy part, so if I miss a piece, that would suck a lot. I'm so glad that she's using 10 volume, by the way. Um, 10 volume is perfect because it's deposit only. She does not have gray she's trying to cover. It's not gonna cause any damage and her hair is going to be really healthy and shiny and probably look way better than what she started with because she's not using a developer that's way beyond what she needs, which is what people usually do. She is going around the head, applying that black color all over that top section and it is already looking so much better. It is a beautiful, cool black color that goes great with her skin because her skin is nice and pink and cool toned and this color is going to be so pretty like even if the bottom of her hair comes out bad I feel like it'll still be good but who knows it could actually go really bad yeah never mind this part I have natural and then I have my teeny bit of dyed dark right here so I'm thinking what I should do is just do one round for the bottom part and then do another round for the mid sections and then another round for the roots. That sounds like a great idea, working on the darkest parts first, then the next darkest, then the lightest and going like that. However, I don't know if she's gonna rinse it out in between all these sections. That seems like a lot of work and I hope she doesn't do that. You can just do the dark first, let it process, the mids and then the lightest, which is the roots for her. I think I got all the dark. I can't really tell. You can tell her hair has so much existing pigment in it and she needs foils to incubate that hair and really lift that color out. So, yes. Oh, I'm an orange in there. Okay. So you can it's totally see. 
Okay. Like my natural color, how light it got versus my dyed ends. Okay. So this is gonna take this toner because this is for pale blonde and this is, you know, that banana yellow I was talking about. This color is gonna take it no problem. This, however, will not because this is orange. This is that pumpkin. She knows exactly what she's talking about. Her ends are definitely pink, red, orange sort of moment going on and they need to be fixed. Probably lightened again. However, I was, I'm scared of the integrity of her hair going really downhill. But she knows that she can't just go and tone this because it's really not the correct color in order to tone with something like T10 or whatever she has. Gonna wait 20 minutes and then I'm gonna take them out and do the roots and then I'm gonna put it all in a cap and let that sit for 30 more minutes. We went in with a second round of lightener, which is such a good idea. However, again, I'm worried about the integrity of your hair. But if she wants to be blonde, girl, well, you're gonna have to cut some length off probably or do something. And now we're going in on the roots, which is the part that's gonna process the fastest. So I'm glad she saved it for last. And the heat from her scalp is gonna help process that even faster. This looks so good. So I'm gonna wash it out. Also, it feels very uh, damaged. I hope her hair doesn't fall off. The bleach wasn't even on for 25 minutes. Her end Ends, I feel like look very not great right now, but sometimes if you use the right toner on top of this, you can actually kick all that orange and kind of pinkish color out and end up with a really nice blonde. So I'm hoping that happens for her. I'm really worried about these bottom pieces. So if it works, great. If it doesn't, next time I'll follow the directions. <gasps> Shut the f up. Who is this? It's very even through the ends, but there's like little bits of like spotting on my roots. I'm sorry, what? So up here is like fine and healthy and whatever, but the ends are drier than the Sahara Desert. <laughs> I don't like that. It's still cute and a lot better than what I had. I think I got a good sectioning amount. That was a huge transformation. Though it wasn't perfect, I think it looks incredible. I hardly even recognize you from what you started with. I'm very impressed with the outcome and the fact that you got your hair that light. Um, Maybe next time you could do a darker root toner and a lighter end toner. That way you can match the two colors better so everything's even underneath instead of it being two different tones. You don't always have to do one toner over the entire head. You did an amazing, fabulous job. I should give you an award for this one. That was really dope. Up next, we have a video by Cloco and it's called Dying My Hair Pink at Home. Let's check it out. I wanna do like brown and then two strip of pinks. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this to bleach the bleachy bits. And I also have this pink stuff that I've never used in my life, a Garnier Brown. The best thing to do here, cause the brown might run into the pink, is to plait off the bits that I wanna bleach do the brown wash it out then take them out of plaits and then bleach them bits because then at least the brown's done and out the way so i'm gonna do that first we don't need to use box dye for this i hope that um that blonde box dye has lightener in it because if it's just a hair color it's not gonna lighten your hair it could but it's probably not going to and it's probably not gonna get that light so i don't think this is the greatest idea also this is my hair guys it's just dry because i have natural like a natural wave pattern in my hair that i don't take care of you're about to lighten it. So we're gonna get even more dry. I hope your hair doesn't fall off. I hope it all stays intact on your head and things go okay, but I'm not super hopeful right now. It's scary for me. Okay, we're going in with the dark brown hair color and we're making our way around that top area and the back. And you know what? Again, today we're sectioning and that is really all I can ask for at this point. And it makes me really happy. I think this is gonna look fire. Like I'm just gonna be honest with you. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this on for 40 minutes. Again, we're doing this two process moment where we do like the dark color before the light color. In the future, y'all, you can do both at the same time because permanent color, you can really leave it on your hair as long as you want. It has a max processing time of like 45, maybe some of them go up to 60 minutes and then it stops working. It doesn't burn your hair off. Nothing is going to happen. You can keep it in as long as you want. I think this is bleach. She showed a box dye, but I think it's like a bleach box dye. I'm not really sure. I can't tell. At least she's not touching the ends before the darkest spots process. Yeah, Yes, another person doing the lightener portion correctly and putting enough lightener on. This makes me so excited and happy. So I'm glad she's not doing her roots or her ends because her ends are compromised and her roots are already light. This looks pretty good. I know bleach is misleading and it always looks lighter when it's on your head, especially white bleach, cream bleach. But honestly, I'm not going for white blonde look on my hair and I can see red coming through, which is absolutely fine with me because I'm just putting pink on it. As long as it's yellow enough to put the pink on, that's all I'm bothered about. 
another person today that knows what they're saying. Yeah, it's washed out. I look crazy right now. This is light enough for me to do pink. It might be a bit darker at the top and then lighter at the bottom, but I'm okay with that. I think this is a pretty good base for like a dark pink. I think her roots being a little bit darker is totally fine. At least her roots are darker and her ends are lighter instead of the opposite way, because that never looks good. So yeah. we're going in with this pink. This is going to look so good. I'm feeling really good about it because the pink is dark enough to cover over that ugliness going on. I just feel like it's gonna look super vibrant and shiny and it's just, it's just gonna really be the change that she needed. It looks really vibrant on camera but in real life it's not looking that vibrant. Hopefully it is in the end. I'm gonna leave this on for a few hours. What the hell's gonna happen after a few hours? It's same permanent hair color. It colors the hair. If you leave it on for three hours it's not gonna color the hair any more than it would have colored the hair. So guys this is my finished hair. Shut I can't even believe up. how good it turned out. This is how it would look like down the middle. The pink is just like peeking through. I'm jazzed. I love this so much and I can't wait to do loads of different colors, but I'm actually in love with the pink. This could not have come out any better. You look so good. This is what I'm looking for. You did such a great job and you knew exactly what you were doing, sort of. I don't love the products you use, but everything else was spectacular and gorgeous and I Y'all are really doing something for me today. I'm so happy. This looks so good. Oh, yes. Up next, we have a video by your girl, Kath. And this is called How to Dye Your Hair Like Narcissa Malfoy. Dark brown with silvery white streaks. So this part of the video is probably gonna be like the most boring, but it's like the scariest for me. And that's um, sectioning off the bits of hair that I'm actually going to dye. I wear my hair half up, half down a lot, which is like why I thought this would be a good look for me. I totally agree with you. Sectioning the hair is the most one of the most tedious parts of the process and you have to get it right or else it's not going to look good. Start on the midsection of my hair, not my roots because your roots process faster. Blend it up to about here and all the way down using a brush and then I'll really rub it in with my gloved hands. I'm leaving this on for the full processing time and then put the bleach on my roots. Is there something about people who dye the underneath of their hair that makes them know how to color their hair well? Because everybody in today's video knows to go on the darkest parts first and then the lighter parts and then the roots. Like this is really crazy how all three of them knew how to color their hair properly. What is that? We're going in, we're coloring it, we're doing it up. Doing it. Uh, bu -bum, bu -bum, bu -bum, bu -bum. To really allow this hair color to cook, for lack of a better term, I'm spraying the inside of the plastic bag with some water. I don't even know if she's gonna fit like, in my head. She's seen my videos before. I know you've seen my videos before because that is exactly what I do. I spray the inside of a bag. That way when your head gets hot, it creates steam within the bag. And steam helps keep the lightener moist so that it doesn't start cracking and drying up. And it's great that she's using foils because that way her hair gets nice and bright and light. Whenever I lift my hair, there's always pink in it. The last time it happened, we thought it was because I had dyed my hair red previously, but I have not had hair dye on my hair. It looks like there was hair dye on there. You're not getting a really clean lift here for some reason. We're going in with the roots now, baby. Let's do the roots, let's do the roots. Let's do, 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 do the roots. And now I am in the incubation bag for a good, hmm, we'll do like 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna check this more frequently because like I said, I haven't done my roots before, so I don't really know how quick they process. Reached the maximum amount of cooking time. Definitely got a little bit of the- That looks good. Than I intended. It actually looks sort of even. There's definitely a bit darker here. I'm gonna rinse it with lukewarm water and then shampoo with this Eva NYC tone it down shampoo. God, this is so pink. <laughs> she literally wrote, Brad Mondo, if you're watching this, yes, I know. Purple shampoo is not actual toner. I still plan on using an actual toner, okay? I got you, girl. It's totally fine. <laughs> I didn't have the developer I needed for the toner I got and I kind of had this feeling that even if I did have the right developer, the toner wasn't gonna take to the ends of my hair because my ends didn't lift enough. Anyways. Oh no. It was a little bit more 
and I was out of bleach slash my arthritic hands couldn't squeeze the bleach tube anymore so I needed to go get bleach so I ended up putting like a little bit of overtone blue coloring conditioner in my hair that I just like happened to have so like you know what at least it'll look like somewhat of an intentional blue that maybe just faded over time <laughs> I got a Manic Panic bleach kit because it has powder so I can scoop it and measure it and not have to squeeze the teeth with my little hands anyways. I really want that dark, dark brown so we're just gonna go over that anyways. But yeah, word of advice, um, the whole incubation thing doesn't work as well if um, you're not doing your whole head. And I need more bleach. Okay, this is going great. So we're lightening the hair again. That toner did not look the greatest. Turned it a little bit weird. I'm still here and I'm still hoping and I'm hopeful, I'm full of hope. This is so lifted. There's definitely still some like darker blonde tones in here. It has a blue tone to it, but I think my toner is gonna be dark enough or like have enough deposit that it's gonna cover all that up. The brown hair color has a longer processing time. So now we have this greenish, yellowish tint. Hopefully she chooses something good for a toner that's gonna really cover this up. Something that's maybe not at a level 10, maybe something at a level nine um, with a little bit more warmth in it to bring back some of the life to her hair. It's not the worst right now. And now we're going in with the toner and we're hoping for the best as this process is please. She tried so hard, it needs to look good. It needs to look really good. Please, 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 please. I have a good feeling. This is the final result. Oh my God. Mondo is reacting to this video. This better be the part of his video where he's like, she looks really good. Because I'm so happy with how this turned out. Ew, I hate that. She knew that I was gonna do that. Can't believe how light my hair got. Obviously it's not perfect. There are some like darker toned bits in here. I don't know, I feel like the like pieces that are like dark because I got them in the second round of bleach but not the first round of bleach. I feel like it maybe still has kind of a bluish tone to it but I can't really tell. I am absolutely obsessed with it. Like I think this hairstyle is so fun. Like it's just like it's a little nerdy because it's Harry Potter influenced and then it's also just like edgy alt girl. I love this color on her. It's a lot better than just the one color dark hair. I think this gives her so much coolness and alternativeness. You know, I don't know. I just feel like it really brings out her personality more and I love the green makeup. Oh, I love the green makeup, but that's besides the point. Definitely not perfect. Uh, we definitely need to even at the playing field here, but as she washes it, I'm sure it'll slowly turn into a little bit of a better color and some of that greenish blue tint will go away. It's an at-home job. It doesn't need to be perfect. I think it still looks really fun and great on her and I'm really happy it turned out pretty damn decently good. Great job. Yay! Oh, those videos were good. Yo, everybody kind of knew what they were talking about and did a pretty good job for the circumstances and what they were working with. Like, kind of impressive. Good job, guys. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you guys like to text me, this is my number. And yes, I really do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. You'll also be notified every time I post a new video. If you like to check out my hair care and my hair color line, you can do so at xmondohair.com. It is also linked below for you. And to get some hair inspiration, you can check out our Instagrams at xmondohair for hair care and at xmondocolor for color. If you like to live your extra life with me, you can do so. Check out my merch. It's so damn comfy. It's so damn cute. I wear it every day of my life. You can shop it with the link below or at xmodohair.com. You can follow me everywhere else here are all my social media handles all around me. Go for it. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Molly and her boyfriend. Um, she says, hey Brad, you feature so many girls in your videos. So I'm hoping you can give my boyfriend some advice. He's in desperate need of a haircut. I'm trying to convince him to go platinum. What do you think? I think yeah. I say just trim up the sides and 100% go platinum. I think it'd be so fun. And you know what? His hair is so short. If he doesn't like it or you don't like it, grow it out. Color it back dark. It's not a big deal. Or cut it shorter. Or just cut it all off. You know what I mean? Like, I say 100% go for it. He would look so cool with platinum hair. And a little bit shorter on the sides. I say absolutely go for it. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>